Welcome back to Nightly Nonsense. Hey, we just spent the last four nights. Long, hard, deep things. So let me give you some good stuff. Do you know that God loves you? Dramatic pause for a fact. Do you know? Do you know that God loves you? Do you know that he's crazy about you? Do you know that all the stuff that I've said the last four nights, and then probably there's only one person that's hanging on and watching this, and so thank you, right? But let me talk to you, to the one person, right, who's watching this. God absolutely, positively loves you. Everything that I've said the last four nights, true. It's at least my version of true, right? But guess what? There's this little phrase that, that I've clung to in the last few years, right? And it's just, but God. Right? It's true. We all goof up. The wages of sin is death. We all have problems. We all don't get it right. We all get angry. We all get frustrated. We all sin, right? We all, we all, we all. We're all a bunch of goof ups. I was reading James last night, and it's nothing better than reading with a bunch of Christians when you read uh, absolutes, right? Everybody stumbles, James says. Gosh, once again, didn't define stumbling. <laughs> didn't say, you know, some people stub their right toe, their left toe, their pinky toe, their big toe. Some people, they end up breaking their whole foot, and some people break their whole leg, right? Like, he did, there's no hierarchy. Do you know what he says? We all stumble. It doesn't matter if you've stumbled over a piece of grass. Now, if you're that person and you're listening to me, I'm sorry, right? It doesn't matter if you're really good at grass walking, but you stink at sticks and stones, right? It doesn't matter what, if, if you're, you're going to stumble, you're going to fall. So here's the deal. You're going to stumble, you're going to fall, but God, God knew it and he knows it and he will know it. Do you know that God knew when he was holding you in his hands, right? As a little baby, before he sent you to this earth, right? I super excited because one of my new favorite phrases is right uh, the Lord sent me let me let me get make this clear if, if you hear a kid say the Lord sent him that's fantastic that is great do you know that the Lord sent you he sent you he knows you he knew everything you were going to do before he sent you so then you look at him and say well why did he do it because he loves you and in the midst of it, do you know what is most important to God? His relationship with you. He just wants you to be in relationship with him. It's the thing that he cares most about. He doesn't, he doesn't care about all the stumbling like he cares about you. He doesn't care about all the pitfalls, all the things like he cares about you. Do you know every single thing, everything that God allows you to go through, is all meant to deepen, strengthen your relationship with him. Do you know the problem is on earth? Every little thing that happens in our relationship with other people derails it. The reason is just walk away. They walk away and find a new best friend. They walk away and find a new spouse. They walk away and find a new coworker. They find a new boss. They find a new employee. They just walk away all the time. But God never walks away because he loves you. It trumps everything. But what he wants you to do is love him back appropriately. He looks down, and yes, he knows that the wages of sin are death. But the gift of God, right, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It, it goes on. There's a but, but the gift, right? But God looked down and said, hey, hey, can I have your attention for a second? I love you. I love you so much that I'm going to make it possible for you to get over this hurdle so yes god loves you so here's the question we're going to end it right here do you love god do you love god challenge you 101 times here's the 102nd read first corinthians 13 every day read first corinthians 13 every day and then answer the question right do you love god God. We'll see you next time. Not that nonsense.